How's it going, weedy drinkers? Oh man, middle of the week. I don't know about you guys, but we gotta get off that couch. Absolutely gotta do it. I don't know if you're aware of this or how close you live to downtown, but one of the cool things to do that I found that's really really relaxing is to go over here to the Capitol and walk around the grounds especially at night and if you are not outside right now you are missing out because we're getting real spring weather you know I joke that Austin gets about two weeks of spring but it is super nice not very humid right now it's very pretty um, and I see people out here jogging, running around on their bikes, bicycling, and it's very safe because there are police cars here at night, you know, in their sedans and their SUVs. And you can just come out here and run around one of the most gorgeous sites, which I th happen to think is the, is the Austin Capitol because I just think it's just a gorgeous building. And I would argue that with someone who was an architect or an architectural student. In fact, I'd love to get their opinion on what they think is the most magnificent building in Austin. I used to never even notice the Capitol, but I do now. And, uh, and you can't get away from how it looks. Anyway, so you just walk on a circle here, which is great. Um, and it just soothes your mind, you know? So you're not... If you're like me, then you're always watching the coronavirus and seeing what it's doing because it's changing and people haven't figured it out yet, you know? And then there's the, you know, I just keep going back to it, man. I wanna see what the death count is. I wanna see what they found out. I like the conspiracy theories. I like the, I like the facts, what facts they think they have, you know, and what facts they've been able to prove, you know? So all that kind of stuff. And then I watch about what's going on with the economy. And then I stop and then I'm back on that like 15 minutes later. And I think I'm basically living on my couch. That's what I think I'm doing. I'm, I've started sleeping there even. So it's like coming over here and just taking a walk around the Capitol, which I'm about to give you a view of, is awesome. I mean, look at this. And at night, at night, it's incredible. You have to come here at night. And it gets your mind off all that shit, you know? Like you just don't think about it anymore. Like I don't know what it is, but you get here and it just kind of lifts off your shoulders. I got a, uh, I got a funny message today, which to me is really funny. It's from a guy um, who's following Weedy Bars and he follows it on Facebook. I don't know how many of you guys know this, but Weedy Bars also has a Facebook page titled Bars in Austin, Texas, you know? And I just put different things on there. Like I put this video on there, and then if I see something funny, like a meme about, but it's usually alcohol related, of course, you know, then I put it, then I post it. And this guy sent me a message, this guy I don't know. And he said that, that the page was horrible. It was horrible. Um, and it was horrible because he said the content is all over the place. He said it's like an ADD person following an ADD person who's off their meds. That's what he messaged me about. Bars in Austin, Texas Facebook page. And it's, it's so hard for me to I think it's great that somebody did that you know I think it's great it's awesome and it I don't know I don't think I can understand it you know a Facebook page like I'm not big on Facebook I don't have a personal Facebook page I just did it to have another you know way to promote weedy bars I don't know how many followers I have like several hundred or whatever but it's it's not a I'll put it this way it's not my main platform you know it's 
horrible, Paige. It's horrible. Horrible. You know why I think I'm so fascinated by his, his comment is that, um, look at that, man. I'm so fascinated because, like, what would you have to do to get me to comment on a Facebook page that I'm following that I didn't like? I mean, like, you'd have to post, like, naked pictures of my daughter, I think, you know? I mean, I don't have any, a daughter, but... I mean, you'd have to really, you'd have to, you'd have to swing hard and wide. I mean, you'd have to be swinging for the fences. Man, that's just so cool. You know, another fact that just entered my mind about this building, which I'm going to go with, uh, which they said that in the, you know, back in the day with all these trees and stuff, that this was the biggest building, of course, in Austin, and that people would ride around. Um, through these hills and trees and paths and then all of a sudden there would be the capital you know the person who told me that story was pretty awestruck and, and I really liked how he told me that horrible page man it's like an ADD person off their meds I mean and feel free to, but like, I guess like, wouldn't you, see, I don't know that I would even notice if I was following the page that put up things that didn't intrigue me. Because I, I follow pages with my business page, you know? That's awesome. And, uh, and they put up stuff in there that isn't interesting to me. But that doesn't provoke a comment from me, you know? I think in like as a society, you're kind of, you're kind of like you're gonna be ADD whether you want to or not. You know, it's horrible. And then to leave a comment, you leave a comment because of the it's disturbing. The lack of continuity is disturbing. You have to. You have to comment on that, you know? It's, it's an effort. It's impressive. And then I start to think, well, you know, either the guy's having a really good time writing that on there, or he's having a, he's not doing, or I don't think that, that commenter's having a great day. I remember one time I told my brother I was at Whole Foods and I, you know, I was sitting there and I was waiting in line or whatever and I had my little, you know, breakfast thing from the buffet and I had my eggs sitting there and my bacon. And I was like, I couldn't resist. Like, I got a piece of bacon out and I ate it because I was hungry and it was staring at me, you know? That's cool too. And so then anyway, I ate another piece of bacon, you know, while I was making my coffee. I don't know how much I'm ripping off Whole Foods because I don't know how much bacon weighs but you know maybe they lost a penny or two that day so this guy walks over to me yeah he walks up to me and he he says have you paid for that you know and um I was hung over so I didn't I didn't really like I looked at first I was like uh no so I just answered him I, you know and he and I thought well maybe he's an employee or something but he wasn't he was just this mad older looking rich dude I was like, then he walked away. And then you know how, like, I don't know if you're like me, but sometimes anger is latent. Like, it'll hit you, like, a couple of seconds later, and you're like, man, I'm going to tell that dude something. And I was like, no, 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 don't do that. So I didn't. I looked over, though, and he was in the gourmet, gourmet line getting coffee. And he was watching me. So what I did do is I took the biggest, juiciest piece of bacon that was in my thing, and I just... I tilted my head back and I slowly lowered it into my mouth, you know, and chewed it and ate it. It's a horrible, horrible page. A horrible Facebook page. My goodness.
there is a way for me to do this where I can see what I'm filming, but usually when I'm filming these things, I'm my head's somewhere else, so I kind of just kind of do the best I can. Here's some of the cyclists I was telling you about earlier, swinging by. So awesome, man. Really, really, really awesome. One of my Instagram followers told me that I need to wear my face mask, but I thought the rules when I last did my video was that if you, then you, you would only wear it like if you couldn't maintain social distancing, you know, and you were outside, you weren't like in a store or something. But I appreciate that. That's her trying to help me out, you know. That's cool. So calming over here. So calming. And then at night, the bats come out and they fly around the lights at the top of the building. Another th great thing about it is that there's not as many there's just, you know, like on the weekends, you see so many people here you used to follow the tourists, and I'm sure we will again, you know, and now it's like just calm as shit, which is great. Well, that's about all I had to tell y'all about in terms of, um, gosh, in terms of maybe getting out of the house for a minute. Um, going somewhere you can park nearby too in fact if you park about two blocks from here there's no parking charge at all because it's after six o'clock so come down here your comments are welcome would love to hear what what would inspire you to leave a a uh, comment on a page that that you're following if it was if it wasn't holding your attention what kind of content or just any kind of comment that you have on that on that guy's comment is welcome and um, I do have my mask around my neck tonight so if I see anybody walking down the sidewalk who I feel is you know more predisposed they're elderly I do want to put it put it on because I want to be sensitive, right? Like to those people. Have a great night.